Hey, praise the Lord. Today is August 28th. It's Sunday, 2022. And the purpose of prayer. One of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray. This is found in Luke chapter 11. Prayer is not a normal part of life or the life of a natural man. We hear it said that a person's life will suffer if he doesn't pray. But I question that. What will suffer is the life of the Son of God in him, which is nourished not by food, but by prayer. When a person is born again from above, the life of the Son of God is born in him, and he can either starve or nourish that life. I'm going to read that again. He can either starve or nourish that life. Prayer is a way that is the way that the life of God is nourished within us. Our common ideas regarding prayer are not found in the New Testament. We look upon prayer simply as means of getting things for ourselves. But biblically, the purpose of prayer is that we may get to know God himself. Ask and you will receive. This is from John chapter 16. We complain before God and sometimes we're apathetic or apologetic and indifferent to him. But we can actually ask him for very few things. Yet a child exhibits a magnificent boldness to ask. And our Lord says, unless you become his little children. This is Matthew 18, verse 3. Ask and God will do. Ask and God will do. Give Jesus Christ the opportunity and the room to work. And the problem that is no one will ever do this unless till he is at his wit's end. That's the issue. When a person is at his wit's end, it no longer seems to be a cowardly thing to pray. In fact, it's the only way he can get in touch with the truth and the reality of God himself. Be yourself before God and present him with your problems, the very things that you have brought you to your wit's end. But as long as you think you are self-sufficient and you do not need to ask God for anything, this is where our problem lies. You, you see, to say that prayer changes things is not as close to the truth as saying, prayer changes me and then I change things. God has established things so that prayer on the basis of redemption changes the way a person looks at things. Prayer is not a matter of changing things externally, but of one working miracles in the person's inner nature. Now, if you're reading the Bible in a year, there's a reading plan that's at the bottom of Upmost, and you'll see it's Psalms chapter 123, 124, 125, and 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 1 through 18. Hey, God bless you.